So I'm out here in the garage. I got my camper behind me. I'm getting ready for a trip out to uh, out west to uh, Boise, Idaho, along with some other stops near Yellowstone. And so I'm doing some things to get this uh, ready. Is this is one of those uh, fantastic fans? I think it is. Uh, and um, <laughs> here's the problem with it. So even at level one it's just way too fast way too it doesn't need to be this fast i mean it's like uh i think i like to say the first setting you know I'll turn it off here because then you get up to these upper settings i i don't know that i would ever need that much speed on here um so what i've done i bought a uh, little kit here and i'll show you that in a little bit uh some electronics to um hook this up differently so that um, I can have some slower speeds in here. The other thing it's going to do is the switch will also reverse the, the polarity so that it'll blow down as well, which might be advantageous. So this is what I bought. It's a 6-volt, uh, 12-volt, uh, or 24-volt DC motor driver, uh, and it re has a reversing switch on it. Okay, the... Uh, outer uh, trim pieces off looks like i got four screws here that i need to take off to get to the innards all right so i've got this cover off um i'm no electrician but this is pretty simple circuitry dc i've got the power cut here to it but i've got uh, my incoming wires from the battery so it looks like I can bypass everything here with my new circuitry. The switch is here, so hopefully I can just fit it all right in there. I may have to drill in through the top here and, and hot glue something, but I'm going to test it just to make sure it works first before I jump in full bore. Okay, so I've got this temporarily hooked up, just using some of these alligator clips that I had bought several years ago. Um, so on my lines coming in here, I got my positive and negative. So red is always going to be positive. White will always be negative. And I have that running um, down on here. You might even be able to see where it says positive and negative. And this on the other side, it says in. So that's your inward side. And then on the out, um, on their schematics, this is the positive and this is the negative going out. Right now I'm bypassing the fuse that's in here, but I will make sure to keep that in when I uh, do the final wiring. Right now I just want to test to see if this is working. So, got my switch here. Turn that on. I'm not sure which is pause forward or back, but I'll put it in that position. And now I have to turn it on. look at that it's working oh my gosh look at that and it's slow look at that it's not on hurricane level that's you know that often that's all i'm going to need this is a very slow speed here i can uh i don't know how fast i can get it going here let's turn that up a little bit so i just turn that up yeah and i can get it as fast as probably the second level right there that it was on and now I'll turn it up some more oh yeah and that's like it was on that other one so this is gonna be nice but that's a nice speed I can feel air moving but it isn't so crazy oh I forgot to test if this does the reverse let's do that well I've got it here okay turned it off so it's spinning that way. Now I'm going to turn it the other switch. There we go. Go spinning the other way. Beautiful. Yeah, there's one right here. So now my next thing is, is I've got to remove this piece right here and, um, and then do all of my hookups and hope I hook it all up correctly. Test it again and then I'll put it all back together. So on the fan, there's just a, a nut you have to take off there, which I've already taken off. And then this comes right off. And I disconnected it from the 
fuse. Now what I'm going to have trouble with maybe, or what I have to try to figure out, is this needs to go in here and I need to mount it on there, something like that. All right, so I drilled a 932nd hole in there. I did have to ream it out just a little bit to get that through. And so that's what it looks like. I checked it uh, and that's going to uh, clear anything. That's in. Now I've got to do something with a switch. I think I'm gonna try and put that right in here. All right, so the dimensions for this switch, I figure, are uh, right now I'm using millimeters here. So 13 millimeters by 19 millimeter box. And I think I'm going to use one of these multi-tool uh, cutters to cut that out. That seems to be the only way that would make sense. Okay, well, that didn't work very well. Um, I cut, and it was... Um, behind this line here, because I was coming at it in an angle like this, and the way that thing vibrates so much, uh, I didn't know where I was. So probably not the best tool. I'm not sure what else would work well for this, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna try and get the rest of it with a with a knife here. This is pretty hard plastic, so that might be hard going too. The knife actually worked really well. If I were to do this again, I would drill two holes or one hole in the center here, and then just uh, use the, the knife, have well-marked lines, and then use the knife. Um, it really cut well. So um, I'm, I'm, it's not, it doesn't look horrible anymore. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I think we can get this in now. It's got uh, a couple of tabs here that I think will just click in place once I put this through. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, uh, as I knew where the ins inputs were and I knew where the outputs were on uh, the electrical piece that I was putting in. And uh, these wires right here come from the battery and I had this red one going to the output side, not on the input side. And anyway, when I turned it on, uh, I, I blew the fuse and then um, I also uh, wreck something in the in the in the circuitry so I think I blew something in the switch anyway I ordered another one it just came so I'm going to replace that hook it up correctly this time and then uh, we'll put it back together so that was actually easier than I thought it was just the switch that I had blown so um, it actually works now so all right I've got it fixed now it's all put back together I've got uh, it set here, so I've got a little eye here for meaning that air is blowing in or the air is blowing out, depending on what we want. And then I've got nice control here over here about the fan speed. I can have this hardly going at all, um, which may be sometimes all you need. Um, turn up a little bit more to get the air going. And have it go the other way then too. Now it's coming in, and again, nice and slow, or I can turn that up just a little bit. A lot more functionality with this now. And now I have the electronics for um, just as a spare in case something happens to it. So there we go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. It's going to be just in time to get out and do a trip out west.